Hello everyone, my name is Angie and I wish you Merry Merry Christmas or Merry Holidays if you do not celebrate Christmas. So it's that time of the year again and I thought I would do a little review of how the year went for me while well, talking about YouTube and videos and well, uh, how I developed in that part of my life and also my plans for the next year and well my goals that I want to reach uh, next year but before that I want to use the magical time of Christmas because I still believe there's some magic in Christmas or rather that we have a magic that we can share, we can share love and kindness and make the Christmas magical we don't need like Santa Claus, reindeers and such things we just need ourselves uh, the warm, the family, and just trying to make this time sweet, cozy, uh, friendly, uh, and forget about all the things and all the problems or arguments we have with each other and just try to enjoy this time together. Uh, so using this magic, uh, I'm going to share a little bit of my magic and do a little bit of shout out here. So uh, first shout out goes to Game Gallows. Um, I think I got a shout out about them on Twitter a lot but it's pretty much because I really love their videos and they comment very and it's not just because they play the retro games that are kind of connected to my childhood and some of them I play myself when I was a child. Uh, but it's also their commentary, it's funny, it's hilarious, sometimes really really inappropriate but I'm really enjoying their dark humor, their, their dark humor and they have been going through some troubles recently like a month ago, I think maybe not a whole month um, and because, because that and because they deserve much more love now to go to the channel and really check out some of things and I'll link uh, link my favorite playlist so far from what I watched from uh, their channel that will be linked on the screen and in the description as well so go give them some love and the second shout out I want to do is going to Garadacto because he he's really really positive like I'm amazed how much positivity, positivity he can have and how much he shares uh, with others and he really tries to share the love and and the weirdness, the hype, everything and recently he has been doing a lot for me too um, and I, I really wanted to give him a little bit of a shout out, share a little bit of love because he really truly deserves it uh, and, he, and he makes great content it's kind of weird sometimes, but it's always positive, there's always hype in it, always inspires you to work hard and, and you know, just try harder. Uh, and I'll give you a link to my favorite playlist uh, from his channel so far as well, so you have something to check out. So this is what I wanted to start this Christmas vlog up with, because Christmas time is the time of giving, and that's what I'm trying to give. Um, this year and now we can go uh, to the part where I talk about myself about my channel uh, this year and the next year so this year I think um, I'm really proud of a few things even though there were bad times there were times like uh, when they were here to us there are a lot of games I didn't finish and I'll probably never finish but there are a few things I was really really proud that I did uh, and I wanna talk about this right now. Uh, first of all, from a few months, I really managed to figure out my schedule and just stick to it and go for it. And no matter what, I tried my hardest to never have a day without a video, even if it will be late. I really, I think I haven't missed a single day. And I'm really, really proud of myself because it wasn't like this always before it was sometimes hard the schedule wasn't regular and so on but this that right now it is and it will be regular i really like how the schedule goes 
and I'm proud that I managed to do that. It was a big thing for me. Another thing that I'm really happy that I did, and I'm kind of proud that I did because I think I'm really doing great, is focusing on just indie games from like a few, maybe three, four months. I'm playing only indie games on my channel, and I plan on doing that. Uh, keep on doing that because um, one thing was really, really made me happy uh, recently, and it really showed that what I'm doing is the right thing. Like. My channel isn't big, it's a little, it's a really small community, but I still believe that even with small community, even with a little bit of support, uh, I can still help the indie game devs. And on one of my uh, videos when I play completely indie game, it's not even a bit maker, just a little arcade game, uh, there was a comment like, well, that game looks nice, uh, I, would, I would love to play that game. That kind of thing, and I feel felt so happy and so proud that someone said something like this about the game that I wanted to highlight. That I wanted to show you guys because it, uh, it means that maybe in a very very little person, but I am making the goal uh, uh, that I said for myself. I am doing what I wanted to do, which is making those games more popular, showing them to the world, and getting them those games. Uh, just players, just people who get interested in them. I was really, really happy that happened, and I was really, really happy that I'm doing that. I'm trying my best with Twitter, with the little raid that happened, and that will keep on happening every time Lumberg games will show up. I'm trying my best to just support indie games community, and I, I'm talking really small indie game devs which need some appreciation some organization recognition <laughs> that's the word um because they really need it and they are making amazing stuff so that's why that's why i want to do that and i want to help them grow bigger and help them make more amazing games especially that there are some games uh that were made for Ludum there that just blew my mind because like those were such complicated, such detailed games, which I know that needs a lot of coding and also uh, creating art and whatnot, and yet they were done in two or three days. That That's amazing for me, and that's why I want to share, because those are some talented people, really talented people. So this was past year, um, and my goals for the next year, I have a few. None of them are really like connected with uh, subscriber or views or anything in, <laughs> in particular. I I never am thinking about my um, subscribers as some kind of a goal. It's more like I'm very grateful that you are with me. I'm very grateful that you want to watch my content, and my goal goals are rather connected with. Uh, making this content better and giving you guys the best I can give you. Uh, what I want to do on this channel is I want to keep on doing more some really small indie devs games. So I'm doing a lot of RPG Maker games. I'll keep on doing them, but I really want to focus more on some um, specific indie game uh, indie games. I have quite a few uh, indie game devs on my Twitter. It and I will surely will, will try to uh, look through their Twitters and websites again and trying to just find something uh, that I could play and uh, just give them a highlight, a show that I surely want to play more of that. And I know that like my main goal in this channel was to play visual novels. And visual novels, RPG makers will still happen surely but I would rather go and find um, a game dev that's making this visual novel and that's trying to get a shout out and just randomly finding them so I will try to play more of the, just do more of highlights for indie game devs um, this is one of my goals and I have a plans I have plans for making another channel on which I'll be doing Big titles, let's play uh, big indie games, let's play. And when I say big indie games, let's play, 
I'm talking about um, not really companies even, although some companies too, like Telltale, but also just groups of people who are making a living out of making those games already. They are past this momentum. They they don't have to work hard to get recognized anymore. And I don't want to uh, play those games on my channel because I really want to focus on, on entry place games. I will surely focus just on the small devs that still need recognition, need highlight because they haven't yet met the momentum when they can say it's their real job. Uh, so that's why I'm gonna move this to different channel and on this channel also I want to do some something that I'm not sure if I will have time to do it but I really would love to do like entry rate scrappy pasta and also you guys if any of you would like to collaborate doing that um, because you know for different voices and everything if, if any of you would like to uh, collaborate with me on it I would love to uh, do this so you just have to let me know on Twitter on under this video or anywhere and I'm sure we can work something out but like I said I don't think I'll be able to do more than one a month and that will be really hard to do as well because I want to make this as perfect as possible with some sound effects and whatnot so and finding the creepy pass that I really enjoy it I really feel that can scare you so there's that um and when it come to Udubai I think that's really all I just want to uh, keep developing myself I want to grow grow just in like to help in the game that's more effectively only in that matter so it's not really about subscribers even it's more like I want to people watching my videos uh, and seeing those games and just like that one person going wow that's a cool game I want to play it where can I find it and always there will be a link to the game and to the developer in the description of my videos so yeah uh, but you guys, Merry Merry Christmas, Merry Holidays, have a blast, have great New Year's Eve, just have a lot of fun, and if you have a, a little bit of time, just come to my channel, just, just for a little bit to hang out with me, so yeah, thank you everyone for watching.